public wait. All America is waiting and watching for the new Chevrolet. Have you heard anything about the new Chevrolet? I wonder what the new Chevrolet is going to be like. And I heard the new ones are going to be even more comfortable. Yes, I'm going down to see it. I'm anxious to see the new Chevrolet. Yes, yes, it'll be out soon. Yeah, you gotta hand it to Chevrolet. It'll be some car. When's it coming out? Sure to spring something. Chevrolet? Sure. In November. In November. All America is waiting. Waiting expectantly for word from Chevrolet. America expects great things from the organization that smashed all sales records in 1936. And Chevrolet is ready. Ready with a new car that will answer the public's expectations. The factories are tooled. The assembly plants are running. The new cars are rolling off the line. We all know what a wonderful car this is. But the expectant public waits without. Without information concerning this car. Without appreciation. Without the enthusiasm that can come only from the most powerful advertising impression. To tell the waiting public of the car we have ready for them, Chevrolet must have a new advertising theme. A theme that is militant. A theme that will provoke conversation. A theme both truthful and convincing. A theme that will impel people to act. A theme salesmen can pick up and use. A theme that will make owners proud to say, I bought one. An advertising theme that will tell the complete story. And so the search begins. The search for an idea, a slogan, a theme as new and as refreshing as the new car it will represent. That will be militant. That will provoke conversation. That salesman can pick up and use. That's truthful and convincing. That will make people act that will make owners proud to say, I bought one, that will tell the complete story. After weeks of tireless effort, from more than 2,800 ideas, the Chevrolet theme for 1937 is finally chosen. And here it is. The complete car, completely new. The selection of this powerful, virile 1937 theme was only a step in preparing the year's advertising program, a campaign that would focus the public's attention on Chevrolet and Chevrolet dealers' places of business. So Chevrolet begins its 1937 advertising program with the largest pre-announcement campaign in its history. This smashing series of pre-announcement newspaper advertisements will arouse public curiosity to a point of eager expectation for the new car and will focus attention on the announcement date. Each advertisement is strikingly new and different, with a new motive, original design, expressing quality and refinement in every detail. This refreshing new treatment, which marks an innovation in automobile advertising, will capture the public's attention. These pre-announcement advertisements will run in more than 6,000 newspapers, reaching into the homes and places of business of 42 million Americans, preparing them, exciting their interest in Chevrolet's greatest announcement. And in addition to this striking pre-announcement campaign in the nation's newspapers, on October 15, America will be blanketed with 19,400 poster panels, which will cover the country from coast to coast, carrying the new message to more than 40 million people. While throughout the nation, there will be a pre-announcement radio program of three broadcasts from 94 stations of the Great Columbia Nationwide Network. Starting October 18th, this great broadcast will carry to a waiting public the information that Chevrolet has new. And in addition, 3,884 quarter-hour musical moments broadcast, plus 16,044 100-word spot announcements from 382 stations will tell America that Chevrolet is about to read from a new page in automobile history.
Announcement Day. Because of this powerful pre-announcement campaign, on November 7th, people everywhere will be ready to welcome the greatest car in Chevrolet history and to make this day Chevrolet Day throughout America. 6,000 newspapers will carry the invitation to an eager waiting public to visit the Chevrolet dealer sales rooms. On this day, over 17,000 poster panels, plus 455 special paint bulletin panels, strategically located in principal cities, plus the regular paint bulletins of over 1,250 panels, will tell America that the new Chevrolet is here. On the air, Chevrolet's famous musical moments program will carry the announcement messages from 395 stations throughout announcement week. While 16,000 spot announcements from 382 stations will tell the waiting world that the 1937 Chevrolet has arrived. For each dealer's sales room, a striking new catalog so that each prospect may take home with him tangible facts and vivid pictures of the new Chevrolet. So, on announcement day, comes the first result of an advertising campaign which has been carefully planned to carry on throughout the year. For the Chevrolet story is a continued story and runs from November to November. The country's newspapers cover every corner of the nation and in 1937, through more than 6,000 newspapers, Chevrolet's advertising program will reach 100 million people. Each advertisement dramatically portrays all of Chevrolet's newest features. This tells the story of appearance and beauty, as well as all the many performance features found in the 1937 car. Here, Chevrolet tells the world of its initial success, how millions of people visited Chevrolet sales rooms on announcement day. A powerful safety message announcing for the first time new all-silent, all-steel bodies. A striking advertisement that sells the performance of Chevrolet's new valve and head engine. A tension-arresting treatment and powerful copy selling the features of the new car. This advertisement stresses and proves the comfort and roominess of the 1937 Chevrolet. Each advertisement carries the new theme, the complete car, completely new. Throughout the year, the country's leading periodicals will march up and down the land, carrying the Chevrolet message into the homes and offices, into cities and onto farms, where Mr. and Mrs. America will read the story of the complete car, completely new. National weeklies, national monthlies, women's publications, rural magazines, industrial and commercial publications, all selected with a view of creating more real prospects for every Chevrolet dealer and salesman. To help the dealer strengthen his local advertising and make it more effective, a 1937 advertising plan book will be sent to every dealer. We received more than 13,000 requests for mats from our dealers during the past year. The Chevrolet clock. As in 1936, also in 1937, these famous signboards will continue to be daily reminders that an even better Chevrolet has been made available. And throughout the cities as well as the rural neighborhoods, poster panels and paint bulletins will cover the nation from Canada to Mexico and from coast to coast, backing up and helping the sales efforts of all those dealers who will be reaping benefit from this powerful and carefully planned advertising campaign. As a part of the year's advertising program, Chevrolet is going into the neighborhood theaters. A series of powerful advertising trailer films will work directly for the local dealer so that his neighbors and the people who pass his place of business will have his name and his product placed before them 
with an appeal to visit his dealership. During 1936, daily and weekly Chevrolet news stories and photographs were sent to every newspaper and magazine in America. More than 10 million lines of printed space helped to keep Chevrolet and Chevrolet dealers in the news and in the minds of the reading public. In 1937, Chevrolet promises an even greater and a more far-reaching publicity and news campaign. And again in 1937, special activities like the All-American Soapbox Derby will bring hundreds of thousands of parents and guardians into Chevrolet dealer sales rooms and will attract millions of spectators in cities all over the country. Skywriters and stunt flyers will tell a thrilled world about Chevrolet. At fairs, exhibitions, in the country's leading circuses, in fact, wherever crowds gather, Chevrolet advertising will be on the job, telling them in new and different ways about the complete car, completely new. In the air, we know no barriers, and all America listens. In 1937, Chevrolet presents, over the great Columbia network of 94 stations, a radio program second to none in the world. Headed by that great master of fine music, Rubinov and his violin. In addition to this famous conductor and his orchestra, those two artists, Virginia Ray and Jan Pierce, will again thrill America's radio audiences.